Chinese luxury EV brand Zeker will expand to Europe by end of 2023. Zeker, the premium electric vehicle brand under China's Geely Automobile Holdings, has confirmed plans to expand into Europe this year. The company will begin selling its Zeker 001 luxury shooting brake and Zeker X urban SUV in Sweden and the Netherlands starting in the fourth quarter of 2023, with plans to expand quickly to other European countries after that, the company said Tuesday at Auto Shanghai 2023. The news isn't exactly a surprise, but it is significant given the fact that Zeker is only two years old. Since launching in 2021, the automaker has sold over 93,000 units, mainly its flagship Zeker 001, and has added two new vehicles to its lineup, the Zeker X, which launched in China last week, and the Zeker 009 minivan. The 001 and X compete directly with Tesla's Model Y crossover in an increasingly cutthroat EV market in China. The 001, which can deliver a range of around 375 miles, costs around RMB $300,000, $44,000. The X has a range of 348 miles and costs around RMB $190,000, $27,600. Zeker's vehicles also include over-the-air software updates. Part of Zeker's success in China has been its direct-to-consumer business model, which the company aims to bring to Europe as well. Tesla popularized D2C sales, which sidestepped the traditional model of selling cars through franchise dealerships. The push into Europe follows Zeker's February fundraise of $750 million at a $13 billion valuation. The company has also been aggressively hiring in more than 30 cities around the world, including in Gothenburg, Sweden, which is where Zeker houses its global design center and European R&D center. In fact, the automaker says its European team is already composed of more than 1,500 engineers and designers. Zeker's European headquarters will be based in Amsterdam, the company said. Spiros Fotinos, who spent over two decades with Toyota and led brand management of Lexus globally, will lead the charge as CEO of Zeker Europe. Zeker has not shared plans to bring its EVs to the US, but the company confidentially filed for an IPO in December. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more technology news and updates.